So it has pretty much been forever since I've uploaded a video to this channel, but I don't have a site anymore, so there hasn't really been a reason for it. Until now, um, I had an idea watching The Saddle Club with my sisters. It was the show that inspired us to be horse riders. We were watching it and there was a lot of commentary we were putting in thinking, that's not that, that's not right, that's not right, that's not right. And I came up with the idea, how about I do an equestrian reacts. This is going to be so hard on me because this was the show that actually inspired me to be a horse rider. So it's going to be hard to kind of critique it. I don't know how I'm going to do it. It's going to break my heart. But I think we should do a equestrian reacts to the show that made me become an equestrian. So let's get started. Let's watch The Saddle Club Season 1, Episode 1. Let's get started. I don't know, Carol. He's definitely not himself today. Who are you? And what have you done with Comanche? I'll gallop will calm him down. Stevie, the lesson starts in 20 minutes. Not far, just at the driveway. Okay, I want to make something very clear. Um, we learned a bit later on that Comanche is um, assigned to Stevie. Um, and by that, that doesn't mean that Comanche is Stevie's horse. Um, Starlight is Carol's horse, meaning Carol will be the only person to ride Starlight. When they say Comanche is assigned to Stevie, that just basically means in her age group, her her level, her her class, that Stevie gets Comanche. And this way, um, there'll be no double ups. Like you're not going to have um, Stevie and another rider in her same level assigned to the same horse. Um, so when they say assigned, other people would be assigned to Comanche as well. And that just basically means that whoever has a lesson gets priority over who gets to ride Comanche. Um, now, before each day, you would be aware if you were riding Comanche first, second, third, fourth, or last. I'm assuming that this isn't the only lesson that the school horses would be used for for the day. There would be other lessons. Come on. Now, Carl has a right to gallop Starlight because she's the only person riding Starlight, it's her horse. Yes, you do. Your camp counsellor said you were a natural, remember? <laughs> okay, so this is what always got me because it was always like, you know, that kid in the class who can never play sports, but the teacher always made them feel better by saying, oh, you're so good. You're such a natural. <laughs> and that, every time I, because that was me, I was a kid who couldn't play sports, and that's what the teacher always said to me. So every time I heard this, I go and thought, she must have been so bad at horse riding because the teacher said she was a natural. So that, yeah. I mean, she might have been natural. I'm just taking off my personal experience. You want to meet the right kind of people, don't you? Mom, okay. oh, look out! Stevie, watch out! There's a lot of debate about who's at fault in this picture. Um, it's actually the girls. Um, as horse riders, we are told to watch out for cars. They can kill us and our horses. Um, they should have slowed down um, at the part and looked for cars. And that's the same as a pedestrian. You wouldn't immediately cross the road um, without looking for cars. They are at fault at that point. The brush up on her skills. Sounds good to me, Lisa. Now, I don't want her in any beginner's class. I want her riding with her own age group. Thanks, Eleanor. We'll, uh, we'll take it from here. Well, I was planning to stay for the lesson. Mrs Atwood, we like to encourage independence in our riders right from the start. It builds confidence. Yes, but I like to supervise. <laughs> and a greater sense of responsibility. Mum, it's OK. Well, I, I'm not oh, sure. Oh, look, she'll be fine. Let's go, Lisa. So he just told her in the politest way possible to fuck off, basically. <laughs> Carol, Stevie, this is Lisa. She's going to be in the lesson today. We've met. Those are my two best students. They're probably just busy right now. This bit always confused me because they're like 11 or 12, like I said. Um, Max, I'm assuming, has senior classes. And these two girls are his best students. I'm not gonna say more. Are you gonna jump the wall today? We're gonna try. Don't sound so nervous. You've jumped that high before. Yeah, but that was a fence. This is a solid wall. I don't know. 
She thinks it's too wide or something. Um, yeah, so this bit always confuses me. When she says she thinks it's too wide, is she thinking about her horse because Starlight's a he? Or who thinks it's too wide? Who's telling her the fence is wider than a... So the wall is higher than the fence she's jumped before? I, I never understood that. But who's the she? Is she referring to her horse? I, I don't know. <laughs> what, what do you think, Red? That's a pretty good saddle. Do you think you could change my life, Oh, I'm Sky Ransom, the poster. Okay, everyone. This is the How many days? <laughs> See, the mum should have just stayed and then none of this would have happened. Turn that off! Turn it off! I'm trying! If they're jumping, they should have won jumping. Are you there. okay, Stevie? Yeah, fine. I didn't call because I don't have a cell phone. We all phone. have that one friend who fights in front of their down. parents and we just feel this. awkward. Like you have your own phone and fax lines. And what about the pager that Daddy gave you? I want a cell phone! Everyone has a cell except me. Even her. Well, all right. I'll call Daddy and I'll ask him to pick one up. <laughs> She's okay? like, what the hell? How the heck? Call me when you're done. How the hell did that work? You... It's like she has to check on me every five minutes. Mums are so lame. Yeah. Her mum died. Okay, this bit always cringed me up because she's trying to make an apology. She's trying to say her mum is alone, but she's saying it like in a generalisation so she doesn't feel alone. Like, clearly she's not saying your mum's lame and a loser. She doesn't know and she's kind of trying to apologise and just every time she tries to do it, she's making the wrong turn. Um, and you can clearly see that and the fact that Stevie and Carol don't see it, it, oh, it frustrates me a lot. All you want, but they'll still hate you. Max is taking the advanced riders on a trail ride instead of a lesson. So what's Lisa doing there then? Like, is she just going to hang around the stables? Like, does she have a lesson today as well? Or, I mean, she's not an advanced rider, so where's her lesson? What he'll do when my pager goes off right under his saddle. Let's see how good a rider Stevie is when her horse goes mental. Did she not process her? That could kill her. Her horse would have thrown her. Like, is she not processing that she could actually go to jail? or juvenile detention if Stevie gets seriously injured or put in a coma or even death. Is she not realising that? Like, how does that not process through her head? You can't! That's really dangerous! You tell anyone about this and I'll make sure you don't go on the mountain trail overnight. Why? Because she's trying to save her life? I'll tell you on the way. Please, Carol. You've got to trust me. So hasn't okay, Carol gone? Climb on. Why hasn't Carol gone on this advanced trail ride? That's what I wonder. So, yeah, what's Carol doing today? Why isn't she? Why hasn't she been invited for this trail ride? The fact that no one has noticed that kind of makes me worry. Like there are people behind her who can see. How have they not noticed there's something not wrong with her saddle pants? What is that? <laughs> she just did one big mistake there. You should never throw anything in front of a horse. Um, they don't have eyesight like ours. They can't see straight in front of them. They can only see from side to side. So by throwing something in front of them can really spook them out. Um, she shouldn't have thrown it. If anything, she should have thrown it backwards. Uh, never throw anything in front of a horse. Never. <laughs> She's in thinking, yeah, I've killed Stevie. She's gonna go to hospital and possibly die from a coma or some bone damage. I'm so happy. What's she thinking? <laughs> that was so good. You, you were so good. I know what she's thinking. You saw what happened to the lesson. You knew Comanche was already hyper. Were you trying to kill her? Yes, that is exactly what she was trying to do. You are so finished at this stable. I'm talking to Max. I'm sure he'd love to hear all about your plan to hurt me and his school horse. I found this on the hill. What about the saddle club? I like it. Very horsey. Saddle club. I can work with that. 
<laughs> is there a reason why they are riding their horses where cars are going to be coming up and down? There are paths on the side for a reason. Why are they riding where horses where cars are? Or if they are, they should be on one side of the road and not hogging the whole thing. And I know it's a TV show and I know they've been told to do that and no cars are going to be coming up and down. But it just frustrates me because they were nearly killed by a car. So they need to take more caution. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's the first episode done. Um, definitely a bit hard to critique. Uh, if you did like the first part, please give it a big thumbs up. Honestly, please do subscribe for more. I'm going to try to be more active on this channel, even without secrets in my life anymore. But I will try. So I will see you next time in the next episode. Bye-bye.